Hello, my name is Linda Chambers. I'm going to show you a video using ipconfig, ping, trace route, and ARP. ipconfig. It's a utility program that's built into Windows Command Prompt System that tells you information about your internet connection. This utility can be used to gather information such as your MAC address, IP address, and other, other local area network connection information. Here's a short demonstration of how to use ipconfig. First, you need to find command prompt. I have a shortcut to command prompt, so I am going to right click on command prompt and select run as administrator. You have to click continue to give permission. Now, if you type ipconfig slash all, you will get various amounts of information about your computer's internet connection. This computer is name is Danny SDSPC. Hmm. Your physical address, which is the MAC address, is this right here, 0019215A2694, or that's my MAC address. Gives you other information as your DHCP server. 192.168.1.1 gives you your subnet mask, gives you your IPv4 address, gives you lots of really neat information. Ping, it's a network administrative tool. It is used to test the connection of a host and IP network and it measures the round trip time from messages sent from the originating or your computer host to a destination computer or the website you're trying to visit. Ping is accessed from command prompt. Shortly I will show you a presentation on that. Demo on how to use Ping. First of all, let's understand that Ping is a basic diagnostic tool that allows a user or you to verify a particular IP address that actually exists and that it can accept requests. See, Ping bounces a small packet off a domain to test network connections and then tells how long the packet took to make the round trip. So let's see that. So we're going to open, we're going to go IP config first of all so we can get our that's the MAC address and then we're going to ping our default gateway. So type ping 192.168.1.1. This is how you would use ping to test your network, make sure you have an internet connection. As you can see it was four replies, so packets sent were four, packets received are four, and it lost zero. Therefore I have a good internet connection. Trace route. It's a computer networking tool that measures the route path and transit times of packets across an IP network. It's used from command prompt, same way ping is, and you can use this program to troubleshoot your network. Here is an example of how to do that. Here's a short demonstration of how to use trace route. Again, we're going to go through command prompt, we're going to open it. First, if you type traceroute, it's going to give you a list of options. See, traceroute is another diagnostic tool that determines the route taken to a destination by sending ICMP packets to the destination. So, let's do traceroute for www.yahoo.com. As you can see, it's going to tell you all the hops that it takes to get there. See, Traceroute gives you an ordered list of the routers and the path to your destination. If you do not get an ordered list of the packets, then apparently you have no internet connection. So that is how you can use Traceroute as a diagnostic tool in networking. It is still tracing the route to Yahoo.com. As you can see, it leaves from my IP address, it goes to this one, 
which is another, I have no idea where that is. I have no idea where that one is either. It gets to the Greensboro Triad RR Roadrunner. And then it goes on some more, gets to Yahoo, finally gets to Yahoo. Trace is complete. ARP. ARP stands for Address Resolution Protocol. And it's a vital protocol in your network's infrastructure. ARP's purpose is that the internet protocol that is used to map an IP address to a MAC address, which means it just works and you don't really have to do anything, but you may want to change your MAC address. So perhaps you can play video games you're not allowed to play because your IP address has been blocked, or you can use it for other hacking tools. ARP is used from command prompts also. This is a slide that shows you why you would want to change your MAC address and how would you change your MAC address. MAC addresses are the unique address of your computer on a local area network. To change your MAC address, you should go to youtube.com for videos on MAC address spoofing. Spoofing is the word they use when you change your MAC address or your computer's unique address 